Hey, it's Nathan with Crazy Eye Marketing, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to connect a ClickFunnels two step order form to Active Campaign. So, let me pop up my page real quick. So, this here is you, your classic two step order form in ClickFunnels. You have step one where they enter their contact information or their shipping information, so their name, email, possibly their phone number, and then their address. They click this button and they're brought into step two over here where they can select their product, enter their payment information, get the order bump, hit complete order, and boom, they're onto the one-time offer or whatever you have going on after this page. Now, one thing that's really cool about this two-step order form is that after somebody completes step one, so they enter all their contact information, all that contact information is collected and stored within ClickFunnels, but also ClickFunnels can transmit that data elsewhere, i.e. it can transmit it to Active Campaign if you set things up correctly. So that means like basically if somebody enters their contact information here, goes to step two and decides not to buy, you can still issue them like a card abandonment series or you can still add them to your list and continue to follow up with them. So that's a really cool thing with this two-step order form is that you can do that card abandonment stuff and still collect all this contact information. So in this video, we're gonna set that up. Now you do need a third-party tool, which is Zapier to make this happen. And it is free up to a certain level and then it costs like $20 a month up to a certain level and then the price goes up from there. But it is definitely well worth it because you get to collect these people's contact information and you know you save two sales with the card abandonment series and Zapier is going to pay for itself. So anyway, let's go ahead and set this up. Come into Zapier here and you do need to go ahead and create your account and all that type of stuff. I'm not going to walk through that. I believe you can figure that out. But once you have an account, go to make a zap. And you can go ahead and name it test click funnels to step to a AC. So you name it whatever you want, obviously. So the first thing we need to do is select our trigger app. And this is the application that Zapier is going to watch for activity, which in our case is ClickFunnels. So click funnels. And if you don't have your ClickFunnels account connected, you're gonna to have to connect it at this point in time. But what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna look for new contact activity in our funnel. Hit save and continue. And here's where you'll connect your ClickFunnels account if you haven't already. And you'll just follow the steps that they provide. Hit save and continue. And now, which funnel should we watch for new contacts? Come on in here. And it'll pull in all your funnels. And I think I called this copy of AliExpress funnel. And what funnel step am I gonna watch? I'm going to watch the initial offer page because that is the page, the initial offer page is the page with my two-step order form. So that's why I selected that. Hit continue. Fetch and continue. I'm just gonna go fetch some information. I can view my contact information. And we see that it pulled in my contact information right here. Hit continue. So now I need to go ahead and select my action app, which is the app that I want to send the data to, which in our case is Active Campaign. So select Active Campaign. And I want to go ahead and do create slash update contact. Come on down here to save and continue. Go ahead and select your active campaign account. Save and continue. And if you don't have your active campaign account connected, you'll have to do it on that step. And it's really easy. Just follow the steps they provide. Now, this is pretty self-explanatory as well. So what list do we want these people to go on to? Crazy that marketing list. Email address. Email first name, first name, last name, last name, phone number, there's phone number. And now you can go ahead and assign a tag. So you might wanna assign like a card abandonment tag, Ban abandonment, I can't talk and type at the same time. So if I assign my abandonment tag, that'll launch my abandonment automation. Or if I have multiple abandonment automations, you know, I could have different tags, abandonment, example funnel or whatever the heck you name your funnel or tags or automation uh, uh, that's completely up to you scroll on down here and i want to point something out to you real quick so you can assign multiple tags here if you want to and you can also insert 
information that's provided from the funnel. Like in some instances, you might want to provide like the funnel step ID or here's like address information as well. So if you have address fields in your active campaign account, you can transmit that data. Uh, so yeah, you can send other information is my point. And you can get real creative with it. But I'm just gonna leave it as it is. Hit continue. And it gives me an example of what data will be transmitted. And I can hit create and continue. And that's going to push this information right here into Active Campaign. Or I can do skip test and continue. And I'm just gonna skip the test because I don't actually want to send that data into my Active Campaign account because this is actually a live account. And then I hit continue, turn my zap on. And there we go, awesome, your zap is working. So now, anytime somebody enters their contact information in here and goes on to step two, it's going to transmit that contact information into Active Campaign, and it's gonna apply that tag, the card abandonment tag that I designated within Zapier. And so that's how you connect the ClickFunnels two-step order form to Active Campaign. So that way you can still collect their contact information even if they don't buy something right away from you. And that way you can trigger card abandonment automations or other automations that you might have in your active campaign account.